Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech S City. This is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with a review and unboxing of the Asus Zonar DGX 5.1 PCI Express sound card. Now this can be had for about $30, so it is relatively inexpensive. And also it does have some features, like it has dual, uh, dual headphone amps on the rear and the front port. But anyway, we'll get to the review soon. But I'm gonna say if you guys wanna check out this sound card versus an onboard audio solution, the Realtek ALC 1150 from MSI, or from Realtek, but the onboard audio solution for the MSI, you can check that out in episode three of Quest for Perfection, where I'm gonna be comparing this versus the MSI onboard audio solution and seeing which gives the best frame latencies and seeing if there's any difference to FPS. So you can check that out. I'll put the link in the, down in the description below. But in the meantime, let's get on with the review and check out what this has and what features it has. And also, I'll be testing at the end of this video the mic in on this, because a lot of people want to buy these for streaming. So we'll see how good this is versus the Realtek ALC 1150 mic in, in this review. So anyway, let's get on with the review. Okay, so here's the product itself. Uh, once you open the box, you get the sound card. It actually is wrapped. I've just taken it out of the wrapping to make this a little bit faster and smoother. So here's the sound card itself. This is what you get. It's a nice black theme, which I must give kudos to Azus for getting that right. It really looks good in your, when you place it inside a black, with a black motherboard, black case, it blends in well. We'll get onto this a little bit later. Let's have a else, uh, look what else we get in here. So you get a small form factor bracket. So if you wish to install this on a mini ITX case or something like that, you can do so with this bracket. It also comes with two little screws uh, for doing the low profile uh, bracket mount. Um, I won't be needing that though. And also, it comes with a driver CD, the DGX driver CD. You can also download the latest drivers from the internet, which I'd recommend doing. And you get the manual here. So it does come packaged pretty well. I do, kudos to Azus. It is a really um, nice sort of uh, product to unbox. But here's the actual card itself. Okay, so here is a close up of the card. You can see here it features the C Media CM8786 DAC and ADC. That is, um, since it can't be processed via PCI Express directly, it's converted via this Asmedia chip here. Now the HD front panel uh, audio output, you can plug that into this and it will support that. It also supports um, switching as well, so if you plug it into the front and you already have something in the rear, it will switch to the front panel. Uh, also the, uh, it is important to note, this has a, the audio out is 105 decibel signal noise ratio. Also the audio in is 103 decibel signal noise. Anything over 100 is pretty damn good, so this is already winning in that department. Now, the uh, thing to note about the headphone amp is that there's two of them, so it doesn't matter if you plug it in the front or the rear, your headphones are going to get amped. Uh, the mic in, however, only has one amp, and that's on the rear. So if you're using your mic in on the front panel, you may wish to switch it to the rear to get a better signal-to-noise ratio. Now, looking at the rear of the card here, you can see that you've got the line mic in. They've done like a hybrid there, and I don't mind cost-cutting when it's smart like that. So that's good. Uh, they've got the front uh, audio out. That's your standard audio out point if you're using headphones. Uh, it also has support for analog uh, surround sound. So if you want to use your front speakers, side speakers, and your subwoofer, you can do that there with those three ports. It also has digital out there, SPDIF out, which you can also use off the front panel. So you can also plug in an external if you want to. So that's a good feature there. Overall, though, the product does look very sleek. I like the look of this product. It looks very good. So now I'm going to install this sound card and I'll do some tests for you guys. But it's also, also important to note that uh, Azus, this does come with Dolby, as you did see there, does come with Dolby um, emulation software. So you can emulate 5.1 surround sound. And it also has Azus's EAX 2.5, which is apparently meant to be really good. And another thing is too, with the headphone amps, it will, it, and it can match your ohms on your headphones, which is a really good feature. So anyway, let's move on to, I guess I'm just going to test the mic in on this thing for you guys. I'm also going to tell you what I think of the sound card after using it. Anyways, let's have a look. All right, so here's a test with the on, I mean, sorry, the sound card's microphone in. This is on the rear. This is turned all the way up with microphone boost and it's come no effects at all, completely unedited uh, with the sound. So hopefully you guys can hear it. It does sound pretty good. I don't know. I'm going to see for myself anyway. I will now compare this to the onboard MSI uh, Realtek ALC 1150 with MSI's onboard amp. So we'll compare that. Uh, let's do the comparison anyway. We'll switch over to the MSI now. Okay, now we have a test with the Realtek uh, ALC 1150 microphone in. Uh, this is 30 decibel gain and all the way up, just like the Zeus was. 
hopefully you guys can hear the difference I'm going to be checking uh, I definitely know there is a difference because I have tested this MSI um, thing before I have tested the mic in so uh, yeah you can guys probably hear the noise but anyway let's jump on to the conclusion so this is at 48 kilohertz both tests were done at 48 kilohertz 16 bits uh, recording and same microphone so let's move on to the conclusion so in conclusion I will say that the Zeus Zonar mic in port is a lot better than the onboard audio and keep in mind this is some of the best onboard audio coming out at the moment as well uh, the MSI has the audio boost I mean the output is amazing on the MSI's onboard audio don't get me wrong but the mic in is just a little bit weak so I think if you're a streamer and you're looking to get you know a good input on a budget then a sound card like the Zeus Zonar definitely has a place I thought in the audio test though when I compared the Zeus Zonar to my onboard Realtek 1150 I thought the Realtek 1150 actually sounded better for music as opposed to the Zeus sounding better for games and this is mainly because I thought the Zeus had um, higher mids but I thought the Realtek 1150 had um, higher you know more definitive bass and more definitive highs so I thought either way they both won in different areas in terms of output but input definitely went to the Zeus Sonar the mic in is amazing on that thing so I already have a, a microphone preamp so it doesn't matter which one I use so if you have a good onboard audio solution then I suggest getting maybe a mic preamp if you have a mediocre onboard audio solution then the Zeus Zonar definitely is a great solution for you one more thing to note um, also that the front output the headphone output on the Zeus Zonar actually was weaker the signal was weaker than the rear um, the mic input actually was the same on both front and rear so that's surprising enough I thought it would have been the other way around but it actually was the output on the front that was actually weak so there's something if you want to put your headphones in put them into the rear port you'll get a better out output now a lot of people are saying well you know I put it I've, I've used the sound card it, it makes such a big difference and I think with these people it's it's mainly not the fact that the D, the digital audio conversion or the audio digital uh, digital conversion is better it's just that the fact that the amps better because the amp on this um, sound card is good uh, when you compare that to a lot of onboard audio solutions which have weak amps when people put on the headphones they're like oh my god it's so much better that's because they're getting a stronger signal in essence uh, MSI with the Realtek 1150 they've actually put in a good headphone amp so I could test these um, I tested flak music I tested rap uh, Mystify my in excess uh, it's an old-school 80s song I tested some dead mouse and I noticed yeah that at the same sound levels yeah the real tech sounded actually better for music uh, but for gaming I could definitely hear footsteps and voice uh, better and especially in music as well I could hear the voices better with the Zeus Zona so that's just my thoughts on it um, overall I will give this product a big thumbs up it's only $30 it is a great um, solution onboard solution I mean PC Express solution sorry and it does look nice it's black it looks sleek and it does work as intended so really good uh, features about it so the software I turned it off though as yeah as you know it's, I don't really like playing around with uh, equalizations I like getting a pure signal straight from the source anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this review if you did please give it a thumbs up and also if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment in the comment section below and this is the part where I plead you to sub Please subscribe to Tech Yes City, please. Anyway, hope that worked. And I'll catch you guys soon with some more tech videos. Bye.